what's the best DSA progression? Should I go through each roadmap node in order? The question you're asking is how to go through these, which order? But what you don't realize is you're actually asking an algorithms question. You're asking what would be more optimal here, a depth first search traversal or a breadth first search traversal? And it's funny because you may not even know what these algorithms are until you get to this node or this node. It's a very good question, but in my humble opinion, breadth for search is probably the way to go. Because one thing this roadmap does not really clearly indicate is that the most common concepts are actually at the beginning. Take the alternative, consider this a proof by contradiction. Imagine a depth first search traversal. You do this, you do this, you do this, and then you do this, and then you go here. You've covered four very good topics, and then you don't realize it, but now you're learning about tries. It's a pretty rare topic. It's not super hard, but it's challenging, and it's not smart, in my opinion, to learn about tries before you've learned about stacks. Why would you do that? Siding window and linked list, these are easier and they're probably more likely to come up. With a breadth for search alternatively, and, and we can continue with the DFS, you'll get to like heaps, you'll get to intervals, not bad topics, but backtracking is pretty big. And you know, depending on the order, you might've gone in this order, you might've gone in like the hardest possible order where you learned about DP before you learned about graphs. I wouldn't do that. Another reason with DFS, if you went like this path and you got all the way down here, you might get to advanced graphs, but you haven't even done this graph. This isn't actually a tree because certain topics like this have multiple prerequisites. You should probably do regular graphs before you do advanced graphs. So another reason why BFS is the approach here. You do this, you do this layer, then you do this layer, then here, and then you can do this. Though I will say some of these are less likely. Like if once you get to this second portion of the graph, I would prioritize this, 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 maybe this, and then probably this and this and then this, this. At this point, it becomes kind of random. Like these are probably least likely to come up in your interview, but I would learn dynamic programming and then maybe bit manipulation and then math. So that's how I would do it.